So in the last video, we did installing RSM. So now you got your RSM up and running, what we need to do now is to do a discovery. So we're going to look at doing a routing-based discovery. So, so what this is, is we're actually going to use the routing table and then use a hop count to be able to kind of spider out and figure out what's out there in those, those remote branches, right? Because you don't always know exactly what's there. You might just know a seed router. Um, it's a more accurate discovery, so you don't have to kind of go into your router and look and say, okay, what other subnets are there? Do I have to scan those as well? Um, and, and honestly, typing in subnets is boring. Just put in the seed router. It will uh, figure out where the routing table is, and away you go. Let's take a look. So here we are on the RSM interface here, um, and I think it's also important to note that what we're doing is actually, this works the exact same way as this would on your main site IMC. So the routing, routing base discovery is available in your normal IMC as well. So we're going to be in the advanced discoveries here and look at routing based. We're going to click next, and again, this is going to use the routing table. So what we're going to do here is we're going to tell it the hop count. Um, the default value is three. You don't want to make it too large or it could take a long, long time. Um, we probably want to use the loopback address just as a be best practice. And um, we can have the RSM automatically register the devices to point their SNMP traps towards the RSM instance. So we're going to configure a seed device, which I've already done here. So this is the router in my case that is the router that connects um, the um, internet facing gateway. Um, the other thing I've done here is put in a filter so we can make sure that we uh, kind of control the discovery. I have put in the filters so that I am not discovering the main site, right? So within RSM, obviously, this is for the remote site, so I want to grab the router from the remote site and I want to see everything behind it. I don't want to see anything from the main site because I'm obviously managing that from IMC. So we're going to do a little bit of movie magic here because we're actually um, scraping through a whole bunch of subnets and this is actually going to scan all those subnets. And so we're going to speed up the discovery. So as you can see here, we've got uh, a few different IP address ranges. We've got um, some 192.168, we've got the 172.16, and we've got, of course, the 10.102. So we found six SNMP devices um, across different subnets, and all of that very easily done just by putting in that single seed router. Uh, again, as always, you need to make sure that you have valid credentials on all those devices, right? You, you need to know the SNMP strings, you need to know the, um, the Telnet username, SSH username and password, all that kind of stuff. But as you can see, just by having that, uh, that one piece of information of that seed router, we can then kind of spider out from that and continue on discovering the network and get a much better idea of what's out there in your environments. See you guys next time on the next IMC Management Tutorial.